Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks that I use to prepare for a large dawah. We were hosting some family friends at our house so I thought let me show you step by step how I managed to prepare everything especially with two kids under two. If you like this video please do subscribe to my channel for more similar content. Now let's get started. So first things first, always start with writing down your menu items. I like to make two lists. The first one lists all the dishes I'll be making and the second list breaks down which ingredients I will need for each dish. This makes grocery shopping much easier and you're less likely to be doing last minute grocery runs. Next, I like to do half the preparation a day before the event. This is especially helpful if you have young kids like me. I have an almost two year old and a four month old so I definitely need all the time management I can get. So here after I put the kids to bed, I started with making the mix for chubbly kebabs first. To make life easier and to get things done faster, try to cut all your ingredients a day before or even earlier in the day. It'll save you time. You can even use a hand chopper like this one. For chapli kebabs, make sure the onions are chopped very finely. This hand chopper makes it really easy. You can see how finely chopped the onions are and this really helps in the chapli kebab to make sure that uh, it's nice and soft. So once I mixed those ingredients to the keema, I added my spices. For any dawat, make sure you have some barbecue items like tandoori chicken, sikh kebabs, or chapli kebabs. They're simple dishes, they're very quick to make, and they're super delicious. Everybody always enjoys them. So it'll be saving you time, but you're also making something very yummy. Next, we're going to make naan. This is probably the simplest recipe that you will ever find and ever need because it's that easy. It only needs three ingredients, flour, salt, and yeast. Take flour, salt, and yeast, mix it all together, slowly add water until you make a nice soft dough. I may have added a little bit more water than needed, but pro tip. If that happens to you and the dough gets sticky, just add a few tablespoons of flour and it should get nice and smooth. And then you just let the dough rest on the kitchen counter overnight so the yeast can do its magic and you're ready to make naan the next day. Next, I wanted to do a different dish, so I thought of making fajita style chicken wraps. This was a very simple dish to make and it tasted great. You simply marinate boneless chicken thigh, fry it in little to no oil, and then add green bell peppers. Once that's cooked, you can store the filling in the fridge, and all you have to do the next day is make the wraps. So for dawats, I find that recipes like this make it easier to handle with kids because they just get prepared much quicker. So try to make life easier for yourself instead of doing very intricate dishes. A lot of people find that with young kids, it's really hard to organize parties, but I think it's all about time management and teamwork with your spouse. My husband helped to clean the house while I managed the cooking, and we did this while entertaining our toddler the whole day. So it's definitely doable if you can take turns and give each other breaks. Making biryani masala a day before is a great tip to save time. I made the masala the night before and simply boiled rice the next day and added it to the mix. I placed the biryani in the oven to get them and it was ready. Probably took max 20 minutes. I also used box biryani masalas because I find it to be quicker but you can also use your home masalas. 
Another thing I would suggest is to make sure you clean along the way as you cook. I tried to wash big pots and pans as I cooked and placed other dishes in the dishwasher so that I didn't have a pile of dishes in the sink at the end. That is very stressful to look at, at least for me. Plus, you will be too tired after cooking to wash dishes, so it's just taking more of your effort. Work smarter, not harder, my friends. I also make sure to take out the cutlery and the dinnerware I will be using beforehand. I just find that with kids, you end up forgetting about the small details on the day of. So it's just better to sort that out the day before and you'll be more calm during the event. I arrange the cutlery, the plates, serving plates, glasses, napkins, etc. Vagera, vagera. I had time while the chicken biryani was cooking, so I cleaned up the kids' toys and I organized the living room as well. Basically, I try to multitask as much as possible while the kids are sleeping, so that way I'm not that stressed when they're actually awake and wrecking havoc in the house. <laughs> Here I prepared the biryani masala by frying the chicken in spices, added tomatoes and yogurt. I also added potatoes because biryani is not biryani without aloo, right? Cook everything till it's nice and soft. You can add dhania in this step or when you're adding in the boiled rice, but that's about it. Your biryani masala is ready and you can put it in the fridge overnight. The last dish I made on this night was dessert and in dessert I had planned to make custard delight cups. They came out so nice and you guys really need to try this recipe. To make the layers all you need is custard, jello and crushed biscuits. So here I'm making the custard and I find that it's always a good idea to start with a little bit of water before you add in the sugar that prevents the sugar from burning or sticking to the bottom of the pan. I also add cardamom for a nice flavor. I use this custard powder, but honestly, any brand will work just fine. Make sure you don't thicken the custard too much while cooking because it does thicken quite a bit in the fridge while cooling. Also, I added about 5 to 6 tablespoons of custard powder to the milk, but you can adjust that according to your preference. I just like this deep yellow color of the custard. So here are all the dishes I prepared the night before the dinner. We have the biryani masala, the dough for naan, chapli kebab masala, the chicken wraps filling, custard, and I also quickly made a packet of strawberry flavored jello. The next morning, I woke up early and decided to get a head start on cooking. I made a schedule of the day and planned to get everything done by 4 p.m. The guests were supposed to arrive at 6, so that gave me enough time to get the kids and myself ready. On busy days like this, I would suggest that you try to make a very quick breakfast for your family. Like, for example, I like to make frozen parathas or pancakes or French toast, anything that's quick and simple so that I don't spend too much time of the morning on preparing breakfast. So first task of the morning was to assemble the dessert cups. I started with a layer of custard, then added some crushed biscuits. I used the brand 5050 biscuits. I crushed them and added about two to three tablespoons of melted butter. After the biscuit layer, I added another layer of custard and then the strawberry jello. <laughs> I decided to add whipping cream on top for a pretty and elegant look. I had whipped 35% cream with one tablespoon of sugar to make the whipping cream. And uh, here's the final look. You can add nuts on top if you like, but I decided to keep it just plain and simple whipping cream. Next, I made 
made a very simple chicken pasta dish that I thought kids might enjoy. It uses very few spices and it's perfect for adults and children that don't like spicy food. So if you have guests that have kids, try to always include at least one dish that kids can have. For example, you can make pasta, french fries, pizza bites, mini burgers, anything that doesn't use so many spices and kids can, you know, enjoy. So I feel like the star of the night was this Chersey chicken karai that is an authentic Peshawari karai. The last time I went to Pakistan, we stayed in Peshawar and I had this karai. And let me tell you, I fell in love with it. It was so yummy, you just wanted to keep eating more. Plus, it's super easy to make. I can guarantee if you make this for any of your events, all your guests will be asking you for the recipe. So you simply add chicken to a cup of oil and you let it fry for a bit till it changes color. Then you add ginger garlic paste and salt. Fry for two more minutes and then add your tomatoes. Add a little bit of water and cover. Once the tomatoes have softened, you can easily peel off the skin and remove it. So then crush the tomatoes and let it dissolve completely. Once it has dissolved, you can add black pepper and lots of green chilies. That is totally up to you how much, how spicy you like your food. And voila, you're done. Just make sure to garnish with dunya when you're serving. Here I have all the items I need to make my chicken wraps. I bought a ready-made coleslaw salad and added a bit of this to the wraps. I got these regular tortilla wraps from Walmart and some mayo. So I start off by spreading some mayo on the wraps, then add the chicken filling we made the day before, and then I added some coleslaw and wrapped it up. I had prepared these wraps earlier on in the day, um, but I made sure to grill them before the dinner started so that way they were fresh and warm. I had boiled rice for the biryani and added it to the biryani masala we made the day before. I then placed the biryani in the oven for them and it was ready. After that, I decided to fry the chapli kebabs. Since the masala was already prepared, just frying the kebabs didn't take much time. Lastly, I made naan in my oven and placed them in a hot pot to make sure they were nice and soft till dinner time. If you guys would like the detailed recipe on how I make naan in the oven, please let me know and I'll definitely post that for you soon. And here we have it. Here's the final look of everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date for vlogs and more recipes. Take care. Inshallah, I shall meet you in the next video. Allah Hafiz. Oh,